Okay, let's talk about something pretty controversial, which is Boeing. So I don't really think Boeing can ever go back to the original price tag of like $350. I think it might recover back to $200, $250, and that's about it. I have a, a few reasons why, and one of the biggest reasons is competition. So if you guys don't know, Boeing manufactures a lot of these aerospace planes for civilians, and that is what most of the business is coming from. You clearly see Boeing from 2015 to 2016, it was always at around $100 to $150. That was what people said was was like usually what the price was and then it rocket all the way up to 300 which a lot of people did say was a little bit unnatural and Boeing of course with planes they fly in the sky eventually have to land on the ground just like regular airplanes and Delta Airlines are not doing well at all and I've never imagined Delta Airlines could go from like $58 to 19 bucks and I've never imagined Boeing could go from 300 to a hundred some dollars. I've always thought maybe Boeing could only drop to 200, but wow, they really did surprise me. The SP 500 has already recovered a little over half of the dip, and right now Boeing can't even climb back up at all. And there is some pretty crazy competition right now. So if you check out China right now, you can see, yes, this is Wikipedia, who cares? And from 2009 to 2017, the number of air passengers in China increased by 140%. This is crazy, especially how Chinese middle class citizens are coming up they're becoming richer more people want to fly because it's kind of cool and who doesn't like to be in the air it's pretty awesome to me from like 229 million people to half a billion people that is insane and the amount of people going to airports in china is crazy i've been to like the shanghai airport the hong kong airport it's always packed it's really fun over there and if you check out the chinese airport construction you can clearly see they're constructing some of the most beautiful and the biggest airports in the world and they will keep building them and if you check out a bunch of news articles they're building hundreds of new airports in small cities and big cities and what does this mean you need a large number of pilots and also crew and also a lot a lots of planes so usually the chinese airports get their planes from like airbus or boeing but right now if you check this out this is like the chinese state-owned aircraft company and this is pretty big. And the whole reason why is because COMAC is developing their own plane very similar to the Boeing 737. And we all know the 737 Maxes were supposed to be the best selling aircraft for Boeing. But of course, they keep screwing up. They did crash a few times, which is really big and really bad. And Boeing is going down. And a lot of airlines don't trust the 737 Max. And if you check this out, you can clearly see China could be replacing Boeing to different partners and they probably would not be going with Airbus and currently if this plane is going to mass production soon we may be seeing China ordering their own state run state made airplanes because why would you ever support a company from a different country when you could support your own very own industrial you know aerospace company that's kind of the thing and there's a lot of airlines in china that have already ordered some of these planes for example the city of chengdu some of the airlines and airports have already ordered a couple of these aircrafts to actually test out it's kind of like a little mini lease and they just delivered their 24th aircraft so you kind of get the idea they're going up really fast the c919 is becoming a weapon and also is becoming a really big attacker against boeing and boeing is honestly shaking in their boots right now because they know the c919 if it be performs really well china will most likely not going to be ordering huge amounts of aircrafts from boeing and boeing they do not like the c919 because it's potentially a huge weapon to steal business from them so yeah this is amazing this is pretty crazy and I highly suggest you guys, if you guys want to get Boeing, don't expect it to go all the way back up to like $400 or $380. It might recover to an optimist amount of $280 or maybe even $300. But once news comes out of, you know, a lot of Chinese airlines and airports not ordering planes from Boeing, ordering planes for like from their own state owned company, that's going to be, you know, striking fear to investors. Because one of the biggest markets right now to sell airplanes is China because of the amount of passengers that's flying. And no other country in the world are building hundreds of airlines and hundreds of airports. Like, that doesn't happen everywhere. It's only China. Thanks for watching.